So I'm going to do a little video here of uh, calibrating MC10 composite boards before I uh, ship them out. And how I do it is, you can see I have an MC10 here with the RF modulator removed. And I have a couple of female headers in here for the pins. And we can just fit our board right in here. This is kind of my test rig. Pins on there. Get the board in. I have an alligator clip here with the ground. Goes on the grounding lug. Our AV cable to our monitor. And we'll hook up our oscilloscope here. to this ground pin and the first thing we're going to do is calibrate the system clock as best we can tool here. And adjust the system clock as best we can. As close as we can to the NTSC subcarrier while we watch it on the scope. See what we got. And it looks like that's about the most precision we're going to get out of this one. Now we will switch over to our video signal. the composite we're getting so far, which is not the worst on the planet, but it needs to be a lot better. So, I like to type in a little, um, I'll restart it real quick, get our command prompt up there since we were messing with the clock. of the full range of colors on there as possible on the screen to see what the, we have and do, uh, as well as a bunch of white so I can see the maximum level of the video signal so you can see our our white ain't too white there we're going to get in here and adjust the, there's two trim resistors 
and make my little tool. This one. is for the AC voltage. This is the little 1K one there, the lower one. And we're going to turn it to the left until we start to lose our picture. Get it back up to where it's uh, pretty much at its maximum brightness. And that's about right for that one. That's the AC waveform being adjusted. Then the top one there, uh, the 5K one, that's the DC level. Or it's actually the. It'll, um, it'll adjust our overall amplitude on our signal. So. When I get in and do that one, if we go to the left, it'll get brighter. And there we are pretty well dialed in. You can see the peaks there. which would be the white color on the screen going to the top of our voltage measurement and the sink down there at the bottom and we're at about 1.08 volts which is really good on these boards and we give a really nice picture as you can see that's a lot more dialed in so and this is on an LCD screen. It's probably about as good of a picture as you're going to get on an LCD from uh, the, the 6847-1372 combo. And that's about the size of it. So this, this board is now adjusted. And I can pack it up and send it off to somebody that wants to give their MC-10 some nice composite video output. That's all for now. Thanks, guys.